Hello, everyone. Hello, How are you guys everybody. today? How are you today? Sue was just looking at her, at her outfit. And she's going, Trying to figure out, do I have any green hum, on? Hum, hum. And she goes, no green. Well, happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody today. <laughs> Anyways, regardless, I grabbed a little green foliage here in our travel and retina Sue shirt. So. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Sorry, have, guys. I dropped we, the ball on the green. We do have green. We do have green. Carol reminded me earlier today that it was St. Patrick's Day, but I'm having a dull day, so... Forgive me today because I am definitely dull. Yeah. Hello, Devil Dog. Hello, Vanessa. Hello, Bob. Sam. Oh, Sam. Miss Carol. Hello, Rose. How are you? Hi, Rose. Rose is our neighbor across the street a little ways. Well, across the dirt, we should say, not the street. Doreen. Hey, Doreen. Carol. How are you? Camping Doreen. Therapy. Doreen's got a big day coming up. She's going to be traveling to Pennsylvania. Her son's getting married. So that's very exciting. Yep. Very. Very exciting, very emotional times, I'm sure. Hello, oh, Peter. Well. Hello, Rudy. How are you today? And that's everybody new in here. So I hope all of you are having a great day. I need to pull the shade down a little bit. It's kind of bright. Is that a little, better? A little less. Yeah. You gotta put that back one down a little bit too. Hope Sue's doing okay, Bob. Hope she's hanging in. Of course, Sue's had a tough time. She was at her sister's I assume memorial service or funeral, whichever. And then the other sister had a stroke, poor thing. So it's been a tough, tough uh, couple weeks for Sue. It so has. Let her know we're thinking about her. Hello, Roy and Becky over there across the way. So today was, today for us was not only Sunday, but it was dump day. So. Or as Tom and Laurie say, reset day. Reset day. I and mean, we used to, you know, I thought of it as a chore there for a little bit for a, a little while, but when you're home in a sticks and bricks house, you still have to mow the lawn, tend to the garden, take care of the, the light bulb, the wiring, and all that kind of stuff. So a dump day is just like a, something you have to do, right? But it is a reset day because for a week or better, you have stuff all over a small rig, right? So it gets just like cluttered, kind of not dirt, not not dirty, but cluttered, and so. When you roll down the road, you have to put everything away and you start over. So we're looking at it as reset day, thanks to Lori from Tom and Lori RV Life, because they've been doing it a long time. So you got to kind of listen to them when they talk, you know. Tim from CRV, hey Tim. Hello, Diane. My neighbor over hi. here, right over here to the southwest. We got all our little neighbors. All our neighbors are here to visit. Thank yep. you guys. Bro, Roy and Becky, say hi, Roy. How are you? Look at my. Roy's probably watching his NASCAR race. I think they're at Bristol today. Look at my Busby. Is that what you're saying, Carol? I'm not sure. I didn't catch it. Did I say hi, Peter? I think I did. She'll be gone for two or three weeks. Oh, Bob's going to be home for a while by himself. Hello, Tim. I know you said hi to Tim, but hi, Tim. Yep. Oh. So, yep. So today was dump day. Very, you know, very exciting, right? <laughs> we went and dumped and we went and got propane and we came back and we set, we, you know, set everything back up and had a couple of things to eat and now here we are alive that's how it goes when you're retired and in, and in this lifestyle it's, it's crazy. like you don't really you get the stuff you need to get accomplished but it doesn't seem like you get a lot accomplished in a day it's that's weird done, sure. it's really weird like you can go like i don't know like shopping and like go do laundry and the whole day is done yeah it's done hello dan and kathy how are you guys hope you guys are both doing well so tomorrow's going to be a crazy day we're going to do laundry we're bringing our friend Rose to the registry so she can register her thing. And then we're going to come back. Oh, I think we have to do Walmart quick. And then we're going to come back. And then we have uh, Tom and Laurie coming for a visit. So we are going to be You're full board tomorrow. Very tired old people. Yep. And then on <laughs> Tuesday, with Finicky Franny goes into the shop to have a new, yay, a new toilet put in, a porcelain toilet. And Oz is, Oz is like the you know original one. The valve is messed up. The valve sometimes binds. The seal's messed up, so it doesn't it doesn't hold water like it's supposed to. It doesn't flush properly. It's it's plastic. So yeah, we went and we purchased one, and um, we're gonna have it put in all right 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 here in Quasite at a place called Avi Lifestyles. If you're familiar with Quasite, it's down kind of behind the Love's Truck Stop. They're wonderful people too. They've been there a long time. They have a good inventory, and you know they're honest and they have reasonable prices. So we're happy. Bob mentioned that, uh, Lucky Dog Productions mentioned that he watched in a cool RC race at the track near him. Um, and he has a lot of good videos, is what I wanted to say. Uh, 
excuse my brain today, guys. Honestly, it's it's. I think it's left the house. But anyways, um, he also came up with a really great idea. So he he searched out and found us a place to go boondock while we go to visit them because we're gonna visit them on our way home. And um, he found us a place to stay, and uh, we're gonna stay. And then he and uh, Bob are gonna go for a uh, a e bike ride, and then they might actually go to the races together. So. Um, He's trying to decide. I think he's decided on Volusia County. I, I'd like to go to Volusia County. I don't know. If Bob, a new track. If Bob wants to go, but I'm, but I'm game. I'm, I'm going to go one, one way or the other because I've, I, it's in a, I've been to New Smyrna once, I guess, maybe twice, but once, I, once that I know of, and uh, I like to go to a new, to a new track. So this time it'll be Volusia County. It's 15, we did go, yeah, years 15 ago. miles from where we're boondocking, so it's close. Like Bob said, all of the tracks are like. 15 miles apart it's weird from where he's from you know, like where he day, lives yeah. day, daytona's 15 miles new Smyrna's 15 miles volusia county's 15 miles you know they're all 15 miles apart so i'll probably try to do it a, a show there if i can because it's supposed to be quite the speedway uh, dirt, we, ha we have been to, we dirt. have been to syracuse uh, to uh syracuse right now we've been to where lebanon valley speedway no, no the one that in the other choice besides volusia county what's the other choice New Smyrna. New Smyrna. Thank you very much. See, guys, I'm telling you, it's there's not much going on up here today. So forgive me. Um, Doreen just said she wrote. Doreen wrote that. <laughs> Doreen said, uh, where, "Where'd it go?" Oh, Doreen said basically she's been uh, using uh, a bucket and pee pee pads for the last couple days. So <laughs> now you know how the puppies feel, right, Doreen? Uh, Except at least I hope you're a better shot than they are because they're mean, not being a good you mean shot. Camping? Yeah, she's been camping this weekend. Oh. She had her ladies' retreat this weekend. Oh, lady, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah her ladies' yeah, yeah, stitching yeah. retreat. Oh, I so. just got it. Yeah, yeah. So she's been using uh, pee, pee pads and a bucket. When we went to see the man to get the to get the new toilet put in, he said, "Well, you know, there is such a thing as a bucket." And I'm like, uh, "No." He said, "Yes." My, my what my wife says too. He said, "No" to the bucket. He said, "Well, there's a such a thing as like a bush." She's like, "No, nope. <laughs> I'm not going behind a bush." Guy has standards, guys. And more bang for your bucks here. Hello, Tim, Hello, Tim. Tim, How Tim, are Timini, you? Tim, 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 Welcome, Tim. And Tony from Stone Wolf Outdoors, one of our one of our friends. We, Hello, we, Tony. We, we, that we recently met. He had him back about a month I'm ago now, Tony's, right? Oh, yeah, my God. I'm wearing Actually, Tony's beautiful his, necklace. Yep, he made this for me. Matches perfectly with my outfit today. Very, very cool. He's been wearing very, his every day. Very cool. So. Cooking with Rick, welcome. We haven't Hi, seen Rick. you here in a while. Welcome. We're glad to have you. For sure. Rick That's is always it. awesome. I uh, was building. We have a lot of good channels here, folks. So check them all out. Honestly, I if I sat here and talked about all the channels that was here, I'd go on and on and on because they're all fantastic. And um, Devil Dog, Eddie from Devil Dog said, no. nice, said, nice T-shirt, Merton. Well, yeah. Because... No, that's not the one he did, though. That's that's the older version. Yeah, I know. Eddie. OK, I just wanted Same. to say. You were just about to say Eddie did that. No, Eddie did the other one. I'm just saying, oh, okay. yeah, that's one of our Traveling Merton t-shirts. But I was going to say, Eddie designed the recent design, which is very similar, but um, he designed it. It's weird to explain. Like, we were driving down the road, and we talked about it, and he said, pull over, take a, take a picture. So we pulled over, we took a picture, we sent it to him, what, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour goes by. He sends us a snapshot of this beautiful new design. And so... Next week, I'll make sure I wear that one. But anyways, his wife, Jamie, <clears throat> Devil Dogs Keepers is her channel. She makes T-shirts, wonderful T-shirts, um, quality T-shirts, quality job, um, cares about her work. Um, <laughs> um, what are you hitting me for? <laughs> well, cause, are you hearing what I'm talking about? I you? am. I was just reading the comment before it goes away. They're going too fast today. Yeah. Um, yes, Eddie, we are friends with Tony. He's a really good guy. We actually got to meet him, and it was fun. And Roy says, "All really, all you need is a shovel. It also makes a great toilet paper holder." Right. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's so, what I was uh, making faces at. So, anyways, Jamie from uh, Double Dogs Keeper makes T-shirts, makes stickers, makes pens, makes key keychains, you know, and stuff. So, you know, but anyways, his the, the design is very similar to this, but he tweaked but it, totally tweaked it, totally yeah. changed it, and. Made it better, I think. You know, I, I, you know. the but gypsy. He, hello, how are you but today? He took he took that picture. We sent him within a few minutes and had it right. Had it like it in amazing. his. And so it was if like, you guys need stickers. Yeah, he's really good at it. 
If you guys need stickers, that's a place to go. And he's great with designs, too. He'll work right with you. How's the devil puppies? Is that what you're asking? <laughs> they are full of it. They actually, actually, today actually they're, they're wild with the wild animals. They really I think are. They're sleeping almost. I don't know why. I think yesterday yeah. they didn't get enough exercise. It's been rainy here, so they didn't get to go outside. For and, two days now. You know, for two days now, and they've been loving their pen outside, and so I think it kind of wound them up. So today, literally, Gracie was jumping oh my God. straight off, straight up off the, off the ground like 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 a little mad dog. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla Hi Reservoir. Guys. Hey, guys. How are Tammy you? Tammy and Jeff. Nice to see you guys. We're going to get to go meet them on our way home, too, so we're looking forward to that. Well, we already met them, but we're going to get to go visit with them. I better way of putting it. Um, and, yes, Sam, we do have our gloves on for you. I haven't written on mine because I'm slow today. Um, so we do have our gloves on. Uh, Devil Dog says that Tony won't come to Texas to meet him. <laughs> he says it's too far out of the way. I asked him if he was going to go visit, and he said it's too far. Too far Texas out of the way. too far? Uh, where he only goes to the top pot, I think, and where Devil Dog is a little bit further down. Well, Texas and those things is a little bit further down. Exactly, so that's the Tony's problem. probably right because right. you know it is quite a trip down to right. Houston. If you're up on like I-20 or something, it's a trip. Texas is huge. We traveled the very tip of it from where it connects to Arizona to the very end of it to where it goes to louisiana and we were we were in it for 1000 miles or so so that's how big this 900 no 500 exits was it 500 i don't know it was a exit 1000 so that's a yeah. thousand that's yeah. a thousand miles and yeah. so that uh all the way home just driving through texas is almost just under one half of our trip think about that for a minute that's how big that's that state is it's it's huge it really i've been thinking about jeff and tammy and Dan and Kathy, because they're all in Ohio and they have just got hit by a tornado. So you guys, you know, I, I haven't been watching the news, but are you guys obviously all okay? And were you not in the path of that? Or was it anywhere near you guys? Um, I hope everything was okay. So with, I've been thinking about you for sure. Well, he is an RV. He should make the trip. I would, I would say to you, Devil, you know what, Devil Dog, one thing I have to say, you, you are worthy of meeting. So yes, I have to say that. Yeah. He needs to come by a puppy, and that'll make him definitely come. <laughs> yeah, because they're dog lovers. They're yeah, they're definitely, they are definitely dog, lovers. dog lovers. Honey glazed chicken sheet pan roasted potatoes. Ooh, honey glazed chicken sheet pan roasted potatoes and broccoli. Hmm. Wow. That sounds very good. We're coming to dinner, Rick. Did we say hi to Diane Phoenix? I just had Diane, okay. yes. I just want to make sure. Is, uh, Carol, is Carol here? Carol was here right in the beginning. Yeah. Um, and Doreen's got to go and edit. I'll leave it playing, but it won't be in... But she won't thank you, Doreen. Bye, Doreen. Have a safe thank trip you. tomorrow. Thank she's flying out. And have fun. I forget what time tomorrow, but she's flying out tomorrow to go to the wedding. So Peace. have fun, enjoy, and yes, have, by all means, bring lots of tissues. I hope you have a safe trip. I really do. Lots of tissues Lana, for sure. Lana, Lana McKenzie. Welcome, Hi, Lana. Welcome, How welcome, are you? Lana. We missed you last week, Lana. Definitely missed you last week. We actually, when we were done, we were like, Lana was never there. She, Lana's always, always with us. But uh, Dan said it was southwest of us, so... 40 minutes That's from good. us south is what it was from uh, Jeff and Tammy. Oh, good. I'm glad you guys were okay. So we would like to meet you, Rick, by the way. Uh, you haven't been on, on our life for a while, but we, on, on, um, on our trip through there, we'd like to stop and meet you, whether it's at a restaurant or whatever. Uh, you know, Rick, we are still in Quartzite, have a, Arizona. Have a cup of coffee or whatever. Yeah, no, we're still in Quartzite. We won't be in your area until probably mid to end of April-ish, something like that. Tony so, said maybe one day. Oh, maybe one day he'll go and visit Eddie. There you go. <laughs> uh, come well, on over. Yeah, we're a little ways away from that to make it on time. That's for sure. Well, I would say that the Texas meetup last year was, I would term it a success and a lot of fun. And it's going to grow. I think it's uh, it's worthy of the trip. It really is. You meet a, meet a, not a lot, lot mm -hmm. of nice people, a lot of nice YouTubers. Um, the campground that they have it at is wonderful. It's a wonderful place. It's clean. You know, so we talking about the Michigan? It, no, we're talking about the Texas meetup. Oh, the Texas meetup. Tony's okay. talking to us about going to Texas. Oh, meetup. okay. So you have to go. Yeah, you have to go to the meetup. See, I, I told you guys I'm not with it today. I forgot. I'm trying to read and before it goes away. So I'm trying to keep up with the chat as as it's going. I'm trying to read before it goes away. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's going fast today because there's a, Dorian said that quite um, a few people here. Dorian said that she might be back if she gets her editing done. Good. Good luck on your editing, Dorian. Hope it goes nice and smoothly. And uh, Diane said it was 15 miles east of her. Where she is in in Indiana, where a twister hit. Wow. Oh. She said, Lorna said, sorry, she couldn't make it. No, no worries. Oh, I wasn't just complaining. I was just. Just, just missed you. That's we all. just missed you, yes. And we knew that 
all of you folks probably have better things to do than watch us, and we appreciate mm. you being here. We really do. We really do. But, but Jeff welcome. said 40 minutes south of me, one and a half south if Tammy is driving. <laughs> but welcome today, Lorna, though. Mm. Welcome today. We're glad to have you. I have a joke here that I want to do. Uh-oh, he's got a joke for you guys. Let's see if he does it good. This is the one from last week that you never got to do? This is the one from three weeks ago that I keep forgetting oh. to do. Yes, Carol, it does sound yummy, yummy for Rick. Rick's dinner. Rick, so everything Rick makes is good. So you guys check out Rick. Uh, we, I know we talk about that a lot, but he has lots of great recipes, and they're all very easy, quick, fast, you know, quick put it together type thing and get her done, and, but delicious in the end. Uh, oh, Tim's somewhere in Georgia, still oh, heading wow. down to Florida. Oh, you're heading to Florida. Good for you. Oh, wow. Oh, we'll be in Florida probably, what, about a month? You still going to be there? We'll, we'll be in Florida in, in, in about a month. Yeah. How long are you going to be there, Tim? We'd love to see you if you'll still be there. How's Franny running? Franny running. Franny is running Franny's good. running wonderful. We're having a little issue right now. we got to take it in. Well, not an issue. We knew we had to re replace the toilet. We found a place here that the, the, the guys will do it for reasonable money with a showroom so we can look at toilets. You know, and we have a plastic one, so we're changing to a porcelain one. The oven right now is having a problem. The thermal coupling in the oven broke, but that could happen. That's happened in our house. That's happened in our heaters. It's just, right. just part, of, things. part of the deal. So other than that, though, uh, truck-wise and camper-wise, absolutely perfect. Yes. Dan wants to know when we're heading into Ohio, into his way. We're thinking everything's going to happen somewhere around mid to late April-ish. Mid know? to late april because it's, But we'll know more when we get so going. It's so hard to tell. Right. We have so many people to meet. Um, you know, it's just hard, hard to tell. But we'll let you know when we get closer. I'm sorry, guys. We're... We're we're having a hard time keeping up, honest to God, we really are. So he's gonna he's gonna sit down and we have to. We got a lot of busy week coming ahead, and then the next week after that, we're moving over to Tucson, and we'll be there for about a week and a half, and then we start our trip home. So we'll know a little bit more. You know, within the next two weeks, we'll know more time wise how long we're gonna do and where we're gonna go and how long <laughs> we're gonna stay and stuff like that. So Rick says just Merton just cut a hole in the floor and poop poop on the road. Yeah, but Susie would have to drive. Yeah, right. I can't drive and poop at the same time. I can hardly walk and chew gum at the same time. And I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding. Okay, guys, I have a joke that I've been holding here for quite a while, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it, let it out. So just have patience because it's hilarious and it's gonna take a second. Okay. The puppies are good, home owner. Go ahead. I thought I could fit that in. Okay, there. so everybody, just listen quick because I'm gonna do a quick joke. It's a little bit long, but it's hilarious. So just listen to it and let me know what you think. Okay. A pastor entered his donkey in a race, and it won. The pastor was so pleased with the donkey that he entered it in the next race, and it won again. The local newspaper read, Pastor's ass out front. The bishop was so upset with this kind of publicity that he ordered the pastor not to enter the donkey, not to enter the donkey uh, next week. The next day, the local newspaper in the headline read, Bishop Scratches Pastor's Ass. <laughs> Hope we're not offending anybody. And if I am, I just find it hilarious. This is not rated X stuff. Okay, this was too much for the bishop. So he ordered that the pastor get rid of the donkey. The pastor decided to give it to a nun in a nearby convent. The local paper hearing of the news posted the following headline the next day. None has best ass in town. <laughs> and the final thing is, the bishop fainted. It was so horrible that the, that the bishop fainted. He informed the nun that she would have to get rid of the donkey, so she sold it to the farmer for 10 bucks. The next, the next day, the paper read, none sells ass for 10 bucks. <laughs> then it said, this was too much for the bishop. He had a complete meltdown. His mind went crazy. He had a nervous breakdown, so he ordered the nun to buy back the donkey and lead it to the plains where it could run wild. And the final blow for the bishop was, the next day the headline read, Nun, uh, nun announces her ass is wild and free. <laughs> so Sorry, I guys. Hope I, didn't, I hope about... I didn't offend anybody. It's not really a dirty joke, but I just, I just thought it was really, really funny. And fairly clean. Oh God! Oh, Tony's heading to Saddle Mountain area on Wednesday. We'll be heading east from there, heading back to Washington the long way. 
Well, oh, nice. That'll be a fun ride. Well, got to run. Supper's done. Thank you so much, Rick. Take good care. Thank you, Thanks Rick. We appreciate you stopping we by. Appreciate we appreciate you stopping by. Free is great, <laughs> Tim says. Well, Carol's still here. Yay. Well, Tim thought it was funny. Yep. Lucky Dog Productions thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. Well, the Gypsy and Vanilla has a and Vanilla Gorilla has a joke of their own. Bear walks into the bar and asks the bartender, "Can I get a gin and tonic?" The bartender says, "Sure," but why the big pause? I don't know how I'm getting that one. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure if I got that one. I told you I'm I'm dull today, guys. So you might have to explain it to me. <laughs> it's a big pause there. See, gin. Nope, still don't get it. <laughs> I'm very dull today. Okay. Sorry, anyways, guys. I'm not going to explain that. He can, one. he can explain it to me after, right? <laughs> Tim's explaining it for you. Pause. Pause, pause. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> now I get it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, I, I hope that wasn't too dirty of a joke for everybody. I mean, I didn't think it was a dirty joke. It's all in how you take it. Oh, Roy and Becky said lots of uh, fire fire agate over there. And we know Tony loves his fire agate. Fire agate. See, I can't even speak today. So Tony loves all kinds of rocks, so. You didn't say it right, Merton, according to Dan. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What didn't he say right? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows, right? So. Um, oh, boy. So, yeah. Yeah, Sam likes the gloves. We love you, Sam. So, believe it or not, quartz, Quartzite is like. It's empty and it's out. pretty much empty. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and especially in this. When, when we left here, it was starting to build up. It was getting really busy. And then, like, it got. You know, during the big, big tent, everybody was here. When we got here, there was still quite a few folks, but in the last like week, oh man, it's just been empty now. It's just been gone. Come to find out, I guess Canadian folks can only stay here in the United States for six months without paying some sort of a tax or something. So they have to go back to Canada for a certain amount of time before they can come back again. And so I think a lot of it is that is the uh, you know Canadians fleeing to Canada right now to try to. Oh, it was not. It was not a long enough pause telling the joke from Jeff. That's what. Yeah, we're not the best joke tellers. Dan. No, Tim. Tim says keep your job, Merton. Sorry, <laughs> sorry to bore you all. I just found it hilarious. I'm sorry. No, he's talking about the uh, the pause on the on the Jeff joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> you did good on the other one. The other one was good. Um, Rose, the deal with the rubber gloves is that Sam gloves likes rubber gloves, so we wear rubber gloves for Sam. That's it. Short and sweet and simple. Wait, you got no job. <laughs> Keep your job, he says. But wait, you got no job. Uh, man, I, do, I do have a hose. job. I have to keep this this between goes, the dishes, keep it rolling, and keep her and my puppies in water. <laughs> and keep the black paint clean. Right? All right, here's another one. Let's That's see if I can get name. it. Man goes to a bar sweaty and shaking. He yells at the bartender, get me two pints, a whiskey, a scotch, and a vodka. And a Red Bull, the tender rapidly made the drinks and lined them up. Okay, I'm not getting that one either, guys. Can somebody explain that one to me? A whiskey, a scotch. That's more than two drinks, first of all. Is that two pints, I mean. A whiskey, a scotch, a vodka, and a Red Bull. <laughs> Maybe slow, guys. I don't know. Anybody else getting that one, or is it just me? <laughs> Did you look at the video? Uh, no, Carol, I haven't had time to. I'm sorry. Uh, I will, though. No, here comes the rest of the joke. Oh, here comes the rest of the joke. Okay, the man down them <laughs> one after the other. The, bar, the bartender asked him, is everything all right? The man said, well, you down them fast, too, if you had what I had. The tender said, what do you have? Uh, okay, we got to wait for He said, I have $5. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's funny. <laughs> I got it. Yay. Yay. Oh my God. That's a good one. That's really cool. uh, yep. Yeah. Sam explained to Rose that we are wearing because he likes us too. And more bang for your bucks is, is a, is a good channel for you. If you want to know how to do things in an inexpensive manner and how to set yourself up a, a band camper. He's got all the ins and outs. He's been doing it for a long time. He's tweaked. He's still 
still tweaking. It's, it's a work in progress, but but Tim gets it done, and he gets it done, you know, reasonably inexpensive. So his channel is really entertaining and educational for sure. I always learn something when I watch Tim. That's for sure. Sorry, Sam, but it's really warm here, and one glove's all I got for you. So he's wearing two for you, but I'm only wearing one. So you get three hands. Three hands is better than none. You didn't write anybody's name on there. I either. didn't either. I'm, I'm slow. I'm dull. Yeah. I'm done in. Yeah. So Sue, Sue, Sue started like after last Sunday's live. We went out to eat with a bunch of you. No, Monday, Monday it was. Monday we went out to eat. Okay, then it was the day after our live. Then right. Uh, we went out to eat with a bunch of YouTubers in the in in the afternoon, and Susie was feeling fine. <laughs> And we were here at and we were here at Silly Isles, and I looked at her. And she didn't she didn't look good. We we left Finicky Fanny to go eat, and we no longer left. She said, "I got to go to the bathroom." So we got back, and then we got into Silly Isles Pizza, and I had to drop drop her off first so she could run in to go to the bathroom. And it's five minutes from me. I'm like, okay. And then she came out to the table, and she didn't look good, sweating profusely, had like a gray color. She had to dismiss herself from the table, which and, was very embarrassing. And the bring it was, you know, and then which is okay. You know, fine. Everybody under, under, understands. You know, and I get my I, I get my meal because I figured she'd be in the car. You know, resting. I get my meal. I get a couple of bites, and she calls and she says, "I I gotta go." So, next thing I know, she's wicked sick, 102 fever, uh, bad color, and wicked bad pain, and can't pee. So we all know what that means. She had a year a year in every tract infection. So she's, no, I had I I passed a stone. Basically, is what happened. Uh, basically pass the storm, which caused a urinary tract in infection, which yeah. in turn has put her in the state of mind she's in now because she's doing the antibiotics. And I think since she did the antibiotics, she's just been drifting. It's crazy. So, that and and the... when I do antibiotics, I get really tired and kind of like, can't think like kind of like, because I've done it at work before when I've done compl complicated stuff at work. And it's almost like, what, what the hell's wrong with me? So I get it. So it's been a tough week. In other it's been words, a tough week for some. I feel better, but I'm just She's feeling better today than she has all week. All heck. Yeah. And so that's why she's dull today. So, you know. Dan said that he thought we were saying tweaking. Oh, he's saying tweaking. Thought you were saying twerking. <laughs> you know, the dance. Do you know what twerking is? Oh, yeah, is? yeah. No, I don't. I don't no, know. he doesn't even know what twerking is, Dan. I don't is, even Dan. know what a twerking <laughs> is. That was a good one. It might have been a real good one if you knew what it was. <laughs> the last time I danced might have been like back when Jethro Tull was popular. That's kind of when they stick their butt out and twerk it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I've seen like shots where girls call it twerking or whatever. Right. That's what Miley Cyrus was doing a lot of twerking. Whatever. Okay. He, he got it now, Dan. <laughs> whatever. I get it. Well, um, Lana retracted a message. Oh, the, shaking and grinding your backside, Merton. Oh, okay, I get it. I ain't shaved, ever shaked and ground my my backside, that's for sure. But I guess it's for girls to do, for guys to watch, right? Something. I don't know if guys do it too. I don't know. I don't know either. I hope not. I and mean, this Jeff Hotel is still popular, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, Gary does it. Oh boy, <laughs> can we not see that? Hey, I can't believe how big their puppies are. So Gary got two puppies. Um, he got Rosemary and he got AJ, they're calling her. Um, and Rosemary was a little like Gracie. And I think believe Gracie is seven some pounds, almost almost eight. And great and Spikey's only eight. And now um Rosemary's up to eight pounds, and AJ is a whopping 12 pounds. So he's feeding those babies something good. He is. My gosh. Belt loop twerks on his channel. Okay, everybody go over to belt loops. <laughs> Belt Loop 29 over there, uh, Gabby's channel, whom we're going to meet, by the way, on the way home. And uh, and check it out. He twerks. <laughs> so I guess men twerk, right? I don't know. My uh, wife watched all my jokes. They're, they're no good anymore, according to Tony. <laughs> Tony. That's a good one, Tony. Unfortunately, Belt Loop did it two weeks ago. Unfortunately, he did it two weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. The unfortunate part. <laughs> good one, oh, Dan. See what I mean? <laughs> Uh, uh, yep. <laughs> uh, that's 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 what I mean about. And Eddie says he's not good at it. He isn't good at it. <laughs> right? So I mean, this is what I'm talking about between between Dan, a handicapped traveler, and Eddie, a devil dog. They both have really dry, sensitive humor. They just crack you up. Neither one really thinks they're funny. I don't think. I don't know. Maybe you know. Well, I know. Funny. I know Eddie don't think he's funny, but he is. He is funny. He isn't good at it. Oh, yeah, right. I know. 
Yeah. I haven't I didn't get that. Out. I haven't checked that out. But we love you, Gary. Anyways, even though you're not good at twerking. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to go check that video out, Gary. Sorry. <laughs> but I guess I, I kind of have to now. It's like the train wreck. When you go by the train wreck, you don't really want to see it, but you have to look. And <laughs> now you got to go look. You know? Yeah, it's like the plumber's crack. The guy's been down. He's working on the refrigerator. You're like, no, but then you got to peek. You know what I mean? Like, why? <laughs> why is that? Why do you have to look at the bad stuff? I don't get it. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, so kind of excited tomorrow. Tom and Lori from Lobby Life's coming over to visit and you know, Dan, Dan's like, can you imagine Eddie, myself, and Jeff together? I know it would be a fun. Uh, I'm a gonna fun have group. a nightmare. See, you're gonna right. give me dreams. It'd be a fun, a fun, a fun get together. That's for sure. We had fun with Dan. When we met him. Yeah, so we're excited about Tom and Lori coming over tomorrow. Though. They're really good friends of ours. They've been friends now for a couple of years, so we're looking forward to. Yes, yeah, so we Tom are looking forward to them. I'm, I'm, I'm having a that's one. I'm, I'm having I'm a reading. total one-way conversation today because everything I try to get her in on. She said she's reading, so I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I, I mean, slow and steady. It's okay. The it's, race. We understood. I, <laughs> it's fine. It's just tough to have a two-person show, and when I'm talking and you're watching, you know, whatever. I'm just, I'm just goofing. Sam says he loves gloves, and and Jeff said gloves are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> gloves are amazing at the Especially black for the poop tank. At the black tank, I'm telling you that. I cussed out uh, our friend Sam gloves one one day because we wear gloves every 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 day and i so i get to the black tank i didn't have any gloves i said that damn sam i don't have any gloves but i'm just kidding but it, but that did happen i'm not just, i'm just i mean the damn sam part i mean yeah. but that did happen i i didn't have any gloves are like a second skin just for your hands <laughs> yeah towards the end of my career as a mechanic i wore gloves for like the last five years because it was my skin in my hands were absorbing chemicals like my whole life. So I had to like stop it. It was messing up my liver. I had to say that I wore gloves for my cleaning and I cannot stand them. So Sam, you're very lucky because this is driving me absolutely crazy. She wants to pull it off. I, I keep, I pull it halfway. I keep pulling it halfway off because my hand is sweating. It's so I just she, can't she's stand She's torturing it. herself for you, Sam. Right. I am. I'm torturing myself for you, Sam, just because you're a good, a good friend. <laughs> and Dan, we did. We had you and and Jeff together. That was a good good combo. We add Eddie in there. Oh who's, boy, who's this? We, when we went to M twenty three. Oh had, yeah, yeah. We yeah. had Dan and Jeff together. Oh yeah. That was a fun combination for sure. It was. So, we'll add. Someday we'll get to it add. Was, Eddie we went on a hay ride there. It was fun. Yeah. We we had a blast. We really did. I don't think Eddie travels much, so I think you guys might have to travel to him. That whole meet was a blast. That was a that fun, was fun. That was a fun meet. And so we decided. So we're we're supposed to get the puppies spayed in October in Texas, but we're not sure if we're going to be able to make it that long because Spikey's already starting to try to hump her. So we're it's, not sure if Spike, we're going to make it. Let me just make it clear: that Spike's not humping her for sex right now. He's humping her for domination. But if he's humping her for domination now, and they get into the stage where they're going to have puppies, we're going to be in trouble. But anyways. So anyways, we're thinking we might see if we can get them done somewhere at home cheaper. Around the six months. Not the eight to one thousand dollar range, but Around, if we can find, you know, like the the um SPCA or something like that, if we can get them done there. Right, because the vet in Texas wants us to go eight months. So the point is, is that if we can get them done sooner, then we might be able to make the M twenty three. Correct. If we keep the appointment for October first, where we may make the excuse me uh M twenty four. I mean. Um, we may make it, and we'll have to like zoom. That would be M25. We're in 24. Oh, uh, anyways, whenever that is, next one, the next Michigan meet, <laughs> um, which we want to make anyways. Bottom, bottom line, we want to try to make the next M M whatever the heck it is. Um, but anyways, so depending on what we do with the puppies, but either way, we're gonna try to make it. Either way, we decided. But we just have to book we're it from we're, there. We're to going Texas to try, but if we, we do to have do to do that, we're going to have to book it from right. Michigan to Texas. Yeah, absolutely. Because, and we also we probably look at it the six month mark up north because it's going to be hard to keep these two apart. And the last thing we need on the on the road is puppies. And the last thing for for Gracie needs is Spike oh, trying trying to have sex. Dan said I was right about what? That's M twenty four. Hot is it? Hot. Is it? So, yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> now, I could give you a wet willy. 
so give me a wet <laughs> no, rug. No, I won't do that because you'll start doing it to me. No, that's no, absolutely no, gross. We're, we're, we'll, get, we'll get copyrighted by Roy and Becky. That's right. We do. don't want to copyright by – we so especially on that, we don't want to copyright. I don't want a wet rug. <laughs> I think it's hilarious whenever – They do it. Becky gives <laughs> Roy a wet willy. I think it's hilarious. But no, we're not going to do that here. Yeah, I don't want to have the copyright challenge. Um, Tammy's been – Cooking today, she made a pistachio dessert and now a raspberry jello cake. Whoa, this is a lucky weekend. I would say so. We'd enjoy those for sure. Tony will be in Texas for a few hours, he says, passing through the northwest corner. Which we say, hey, Devil Dog, go meet up with Tony there. But we know that, once again, we know that. He, doesn't be... tra he don't travel much, like you said. Right. Huh? Yeah, he don't travel. But we know that would be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles. Well, it's, it's, quite, like... it's a long trip. Yeah, it's not like it's, once again, Texas no, you can't is do huge. it. You wouldn't want to be doing it in a day. Yeah, that way. Texas is you'd huge. have to go up there, you'd have to stay overnight probably, and then do it the next day and probably stay overnight again. Maybe I don't know, right? But yeah, Diane said that she was the, the uh pistachio one sounds delicious. A wet willy, yeah, that's right. A wet willy, that's we don't want to stop playing that game. Roy and Becky are good at well, I should say Becky's good at that to Roy. I think so. it's hilarious. I really and everybody do. laughs. Roy's not finding it too humorous. <laughs> Roy, <but laughs> Roy might not find it too funny, but I just think it's freaking hilarious. I really do. Bye, Carol. We love you as well. Talk Bye, to Carol. You, talk to you later. Thank you for coming to join us as always. Bye, Carol. Well, she's going to go to church, right? No, she's going to eat. Oh, yeah, that's right. It must be it's supper time there. It's, if it's, well, it's, yeah, it's five o'clock there. Wet. And is there a willy in there in the middle of that? <laughs> yeah, no wet willies. No wet willies. Yeah. No wet willies for sure. That's disgusting. It is. It is. It really is. So. Very disgusting, actually. Bye. Yeah, thank you for saying bye, Lana, to Carol. Everybody say bye to Carol. Bye, Carol. Carol's going to go eat. We'll be eating shortly after this live ourselves. We're Carol missed the babies. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, yeah, up. we're going to be bringing the babies up here in a couple minutes. Pop's babies are sleeping right now. Yeah, the perfect time to bring them up when they're not wild. They're not to, wild. To be Gracie has been a crazy woman. Gracie's like, been insane. Last two days. For, for two days, there's something, something triggered in that dog. The dog is just nuts. Jumping straight up off the ground, she leaped off the couch, slid across it, running back and forth so fast. She's, she's not so even crazy. you're not even really sure you saw what you saw. That's how fast she runs through this thing. It's crazy. She is a cool. And she is wicked, like short sure footed. Like the dog can do like she these is. tricks and these spins and flips, and she's crazy. And Absolutely. spikes the couple. And then spikes this big like romp kind of like clumsy guy. He's very clumsy. Who like tries who tries to be as quick as Gracie, but stumbles and falls and slides and. You know, boo, you know, and crap. And I read the things. message earlier and I forgot to message. So, so Devil Dog's doggy, uh, Red, which is a daddy of Spike and Gracie, is uh, he loves to chew holes in things. And Spikey does not chew holes in things, but he does like to suck on them. So he goes to bed, he'll have his mouth clamped around the edge of his bed and be sucking it. Go, and that's how he goes to sleep. Like this. So I sent yeah. a picture to them because he was happened to be chewing on a blanket, sucking on a blanket. And I sent a picture to, to Jamie the other day, showing them, oh, like like father, like son, and there he is sitting there sucking on his blankie, and every time he goes to sleep, he's sucking on, not in, not when he goes in his crate, but when he's just, you know, hanging around ready to take a nap, he is sucking on his blankie, so he is a silly little boy. So it's sort of, it's sort of cute, because you get Spikey over here sucking on a blanket, and the Gracie's way to go to sleep is it takes her about two minutes, and she'll sit there, and she'll blink, and barely keep her eyes open, barely keeps her eyes open, and chin bobs, and chin bobs, and Chin bobs and boom, oh, gone. While you, is. while you got a spike over here, you know, and then they end up right on top of each other sleeping. They're just so cute. They really are. So they say their beds need to get washed because they're full of spit. They're so cute. <laughs> they just, they just freaking uh, adorable dogs. We just love them. They've been great travelers. We take them into stores, and you know, they don't cause any trouble. Uh, we've only been kicked kicked out of one gift shop so far. Um, nobody seems to care if they're in there. You know, we have like a little baby carriage and stuff. So um, we take them right into wherever we, we we taken them into restaurants and had them right next to us at the table. Nobody cares. Nope. Uh, Genetics are great. You're right. And they it's amazing how that they're popping out. So and Gracie has a lot of her moms because uh, mom Gracie is uh, she's a little wild woman, and I think that was where a little Miss Gracie is coming with her wild woman stuff because mom is a, a wild woman. And Spike comes up with a sucking pot of daddy. <laughs> Spike is definitely more laid back dog for sure, which I think that I think Red. Well, I guess I don't think Eddie would say that Red is laid back, but he seems kind of more of a laid back dog than Gracie is for sure. Yeah, Eddie, we are 
so happy with them. We're beyond happy. We we are like we we are, we just love them to death. We they just make our day. They make our morning. They make our afternoon. We watch them play at night. You know, I sit and watch with watch them. Uh, you know, yeah, we just love them, and they just love each love each other. We're so glad we got two, right, Sue? I mean, it's right. just amazing. It's Eddie just, started that way before you even fell in love with Spike. He's like, oh, maybe you should get two. <laughs> Remember that on that live he started? I kind of do remember that. Yeah, yep. but I didn't really think about that, you know. No. Nope. Um, Rose said that she had a doodle, a wiener dog, and a poodle mix that did it also. And she gave him a baby pacifier and he sucked on that. <laughs> I will be in Texas. Oh, you're gonna he's gonna be in Texas in Dal in Dallas next Wednesday to Friday for two days. Oh, too bad, Sam. I wish we were heading that way. We'd get to meet yeah, you. Yeah, we would love to meet you. Oh, well, Lori, welcome, Lori from <clears throat> Excuse me, Tom and Lori, RV Life. We were just talking about you guys and seeing how excited we are to meet you all tomorrow, to meet with you all tomorrow. Uh oh. And hang out. We love hanging out with you guys. We just, the way we wander these days, we uh, cross paths only a couple times a year right now. So. Dan said he had to start, step away because of a troublemaking dog. I can't imagine that. Miss Lucy? No. <laughs> Roy, <laughs> Roy says that our puppies are the most popular mammals in the camp, right? <laughs> Everybody stops stop by to say hi. You can't you can't walk through a store without having multiple people, grown men, gruff, you know, gruff, mean looking men, right down to the, to the dainty little ladies. They're all like smiling and looking inside and one lady was kissing him through the yeah, through kissing him through the through you know, yeah. It's too funny. If I was a, a a young man, 17 again, and I wanted to meet women, I'd get I'd get a puppy, put it in the cabbage, and walk through the mall. I, I I'd have dates for a week. It's crazy. It's just it's crazy. You never needed dogs when you were young. No, but you you no, know. What I I'm don't saying. mean that you, you need them now, but yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm you, just saying. You could save money on going to the bar for drinks to go meet a girl, where you could just walk right. through the mall and get seven dates. Is kind of my point, right? Um, hi, Lori. I didn't get to say hi to you, and she she can't wait to meet the babies tomorrow. Yeah, we can't <laughs> wait to have you all over tomorrow. It's supposed to be a nice day too, guys. Most popular mammals in the camp. <laughs> they are so they are so fun. They really are. Tomorrow we're gonna go to uh, Parker with our friend Rose, and her dog's gonna be in the back of the cooler with our two puppies. So it should be an interesting ride to Parker. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. They met today, so they seem to get along really, really well. They they seem to actually like each other. Um, Tim says it's not their fault. They they are so damn cute. Tim was over here visiting the camp the other day, and we. We were sitting out here talking, watching the watching the sunset, watching the puppies, and I honestly can say that watching the puppies is one of the funnest things I think I that I that I can do these days because they're just hilarious. And they keep you smiling, and, that's for sure. Me and Tim, two two grown, you know, older guys sitting there, you know, giggling at the puppies over their antics. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. Me and Tim from CIV are going to um, um, walk Quartzite Mountain here sometime next week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever day. I got to talk. We got to talk. Um, and we're going to walk to the top. How many times do you think we'll stop to catch our breath? You, Su not too many. Su are you trying to in insult Tim? No, I'm just saying I know you. I don't know Tim, yeah, but, but I know your, I'm saying, your lungs. I'm, if I'm, I were there, it would have been 25. I'm thinking I'm going to have to stop. Well, yeah, if you were there. But if I, right. I'm saying I'm going to have to stop at least eight times to catch my breath. Because it's pretty steep from what I hear. I've, I've seen other people do it. And on video, it looked steep so i'm assuming it's steep not deadly or anything it's not technically a mountain it's almost it looks almost like a small volcano actually it's very, a small volcano. It's very it's you know it's very very tough. traveling robert broke his ankle on there last year though so i gotta be really We're careful worried. I'm but traveling nervous. robert wears sneakers i'm gonna wear my my hiking boots with so your ankles are you know protected. those are called the work boots not hiking boots. well they work with working boots but they're good to hike with because they protect your ankles right yeah Dan said he found out why we can't find our boxes of tissues. Lucy's hiding them behind the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Lucy. Oh and uh, Tony said you need my dog for the babe magnet factor. Yeah, you, you can't miss that big baby. He's got the hugest dog. Um, what a beauty, Huckleberry. He, he is a beauty. He is a beauty. He's huge. Like He probably, is huge. He's probably up to my waist, practically. Like a, like a pony. It yeah. must be, it's got to be like feeding a teenager, Tony. My God. Yeah. Oh, Carol, you're still watching. Hi, Carol. You're so watching. So we have about five minutes. We'll bring the puppies up. We can't hold them for too long. Yeah, they're getting so heavy. You my know, gosh. they get not heavy, but they well that, and they they get antsy. But if I get them like from the sleeping state, they, they'll be nice and calm for all, you. Yeah. For you all, so you get hey, it's getting brighter and brighter back there. How come? Is it that window now? Yeah, something's getting brighter back there. 
the sun's coming in. It's a beautiful day here today. It really is. It's perfect temperature. It's probably low 70s. Nope, not that one. I got to be. The, it's got to be the one by the my chair. Nope, it's the one over the couch. <laughs> <laughs> we only have four windows in here, guys. Which one is well, it? I guess it's just a bright day, guys. That's all. That's all. It's a beautiful day. We had three terrible days here. We had a lot of wind. They've been getting a lot of rain. One night they had all the washers here. We we're running pretty, pretty good. I mean, they weren't like full of anything, but they were running pretty good. I was a little nervous. To, I took the Corolla through one of the washers. And she didn't lift and float though, but you know, I was a little nervous going through one of them. I watched the Jeep ahead of me, and he was the, his floorboards were almost touching the water. Uh oh. But I had to go get ice cream. Tony said it's clouding up there, gonna rain. Yeah, we had rain for two days, Tony. So we're having then, enough of rain. And then we were, I guess, in a in a low. So that one storm we got a day ago, I guess, looped around with, by hundreds of miles and went back into California and came back around and got us again last night. According to one of my friends, it was pretty much the same storm. Although it wasn't as bad last night as it was the first night that, that, that we got it. We got a lot of rain, I guess, for we the... We got a lot of rain, for the, especially the, uh, for the desert, desert. right? It poured pretty, pretty good. We don't have a lot of ex experience with the desert, of course, but it seemed like it poured, poured pretty good for the desert anyway. Oh, boy, Dan's having snow, rain, and hail today. Oh, oh my God. Here it's 72, sorry, Dan. <laughs> Dan. Sorry, to, to, sorry, to, sorry Dan. Sorry, Dan. to bush it, but yeah, it's like 72 here today. It's been like really damp and raw and windy and... You know, no snow, please. Exactly. That's why we're all, you know, every, all of us are out here is avoiding the snow for sure. And the funny thing is, guys, I have to say is we met Rose for the first time. I think we met her, I don't know, one day last week or Monday or Sunday or whatever. whatever. We, at the last fire we, we've been here yeah. for over a week already. It seems like we've been here for two days. Seriously. At the last fire we did. But come to find out, Rose is from Rhode Island and we were both born in Rhode Island. So you meet somebody, you know, from your, your home state, like... 50 feet away from us, she's camping out. So that was a cool meet. Well, he's funny. Everything's so plush here that he thinks he's worried about having, maybe having to borrow the neighbor's, the neighbor's lawn, lawnmower. lawnmower. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is plush for the desert. People, We have, like, not a lot of experience, but Roy's been here for a while. He ain't never seen it like it. And um, Steve from Desert Arizona Adventures is a, is, a, is, a, is a native, so he's seen it. It's a fantastic year. The whole desert is in bloom, folks. I'm it's telling pretty, you. yeah. In these washes, every square foot has flowers. It's very pretty. No exaggeration. So our first Every desert bush, flower. The cactuses are all blooming. It's just amazing. Oh, yeah. That's why I meant to say cactus flower. Sorry. Hello, Miss Melanie. How are you today? Tony's Hi, Mel. How are you? That's that's our daughter, Mel. Tony is up near Flagstaff, so it could snow. Oof. Oh, yes. That's not cool. So see, we're down here in 72. So that's the thing with our with our, with Arizona. you got the south part that's warm and the northern part <laughs> up in the mountains <laughs> is cool. And, you, you know. Um. Stonewall says uh, he's never seen that much grass around. I know there's a lot of grass around. Not as much here as there was in Tucson, but Tucson, it was in the ironwood. It was absolutely gorgeous. It was There was grass everywhere and flowers everywhere. Um, not as much grass here, but um, and Tim says, none of your neighbors have one, Roy. <laughs> right, and, then, and, and, on, and on that note, um, also Steve from Desert Adventures of Arizona has a weed eater, but he hasn't seen it in how many years? I don't know. So he has to go over the corner and he's mad. Yeah, and it's an electric one, thank God, because he would never never get it started. But he's mad because at his house, the grass was this high, I'm telling you, the whole yeah, one. So he had to bring out the you know weed eater because they have a lot of rattlesnakes there. So you don't want places for rattlesnakes to hide. So he's been weed, weed, weed eating his brains out there. I've been taking pictures for sure. Uh, Dan said you should, take, you should do a short of the blooming cactuses. That's a good idea. You probably should. Good idea, Dan. Thank you, we Dan. didn't think about that. Duh. <laughs> Melanie, I'm dull today. Are you surprised? Let's see, <laughs> let's see what Melanie has to say. <laughs> Hang on for this comment, folks. <laughs> what kind of funny face can she find? Yeah, no, your mom's having a dull day today. We're thinking it's the antibiotic, so I don't know. I mean, she's, I don't know. Rosa, she thinks we got plenty of rain, in her opinion. Yeah, what today? <laughs> dull. No, dull. 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 Very dull today. I'm like not with it. So I'm okay. I'm gonna get the puppies. So. Puppy time. Yeah. They're actually laying in the sun. All, all, all. Uh oh! Somebody managed to poop right there. So don't step in it. I didn't see anybody come and poop. I didn't see anybody. Little come buggers. Poop. You never know when they're and They didn't poop on the pad. They didn't poop on the pad. Okay, she says. <laughs> Who said that, Mel? <laughs> Melanie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In other words, she's not surprised, guys. 
Not that I'm not usually this dull, but I am having a dull day. And I miss Gracie. I get the light one today. That's Gracie. I know Miss Gracie. Hello, Miss Gracie. Did we waking you up? Are we waking you up? Did we wake you up? Yes, we did. You over there laying in the sun. Say hi to I know this laying on the floor, guys, without a bed. Spike a room. Spike a room. Spike a room. He's a lover of the family. Spikey's a lover. Yeah. He's a troublemaker too at the same time. We have to give these guys a bath for Lori tomorrow, I think. Yes, we do. Oh, look at the big yorms. Yeah, we have to get this. We, we, I think if we can fit that in, I don't know. I'm going to try to do Maybe it, have to do do it tonight. It this, this afternoon. I think I oh. figured out a way to do it nice and safe because the problem <laughs> with the RV is to try to adjust water so it'll either come out real cold Pipe or hard. piping hot. So we're trying to figure out a way to keep it adjusted and wash the puppies like at home. You can fine tune stuff and it stays the same. In an RV, it doesn't. You know, so. We're a little worried about cold water and hot water and all that kind of stuff, but we're gonna we're gonna go for it tonight. We also got to wash our bare feet, so we might be doing that tonight too. I don't know. Oh, I don't know about that. We might have a busy night or, whatever, oh, or a busy or a busy week. We have a busy week ahead of us. That's all I know. It's gonna be maddening on how busy it is. We need to hold the puppies up so they can see us. We need to hold Gracie up so they can see. Oh, there's Gracie. There's Gracie. There's Gracie. So they're all kind of lackadaisical right now. Big yawns. And they were laying in the sun yeah, and basking. And... I love you. Well, thank you for kisses. Uh, Tony said they look so much like Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see no beard. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, that's too funny. Hey, Eddie, I heard you had a snake in your yard, huh? Was it a it was a cotton mouth, was it? Did you have in your yard there? My God. I hope he wasn't back there when we were walking back there, right? Right. Phew. So what kind of snake was it? It was a cotton mouth or what, Eddie? Nope, they don't look. They don't, Tony. They are not as gr not as grumpy. <laughs> Copperhead. Yeah. yeah. Those things you don't want to get bit by. Those things, from what I understand, whenever I was in Texas, there was when there was a copperhead on the on the golf course. You know, we had to really watch out. They will actually the supposedly house. they'll actually come like after you. Um, you know, so. Yeah. Where 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 was it? Down by down by your pond in the back, Eddie? Yeah, it was on the other side of the house. Oh, on the other side of the house. I didn't yeah. see that part. Oh, yeah. well, I see it now on the other side of the house. Ooh. Did it taste good? Tony wants to know. <laughs> oh my God, sneaky poopers, Rose said. Yeah, that's that. That you you call our dog sneaky poopers, all, all, all right? Because they can. It was too small to cook. You. Oh, it was a small one. Oh. Didn't have a copper head. Spike has gorgeous eyes, yes. Yeah, I know you wasn't talking about my eyes, Eddie. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> he does have gorgeous eyes, though. He really does. He's a he's a beautiful and dog. And they got smiles on his face, he says. Spike a room, say hi to everybody on YouTube land. Say hi to all our friends. They're happy babies. All our friends. They are happy babies. They have a ball. They have a fun They have time. kind of routine now where they you know, they get up in the morning, they play, they eat breakfast, they play a little bit, they sleep for a little while, and then around 9 to 10, they go outside, they play for sometimes most of the day. We have a big pen, big pen built for, built for them with, with artificial turf on the, underneath it, and they just they just romp. They run back and forth, they play, they snooze, they sleep. We give them a little shaded, shaded area, you know, they're actually having so, yeah, rough life now, right? right? Hello, Steve. How are you? Hi, Oki. Hope you're feeling better. Steve's here. Hi, Steve. That's okay, Steve. Late's better than never. We're glad to have you, guy. We really are. And uh, just in time to see the puppies. Say hi, 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 Oki, because you're always listening. Hi, Oki. How are you? We'll be back in you guys' area probably in, uh, oh, I don't know, a week, right? Week and a half, two. Week, most. week and a half or so. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So we got another week and a half here, and then we head to Arizona. So in another say two weeks these guys will be free they can go walk yep. they'll have their final shots and they can we can start walking and walk going for walks so I know. we're gonna like, gonna like that we're gonna get the, we're gonna get the shots on the 27th then we're gonna hang in at, back at ironwood monument for about a week and a half ish to two weeks because we need to train these guys how to walk how to poop outside it'll be a lot easier easier to do if we're stationary than if we're on the road right so that's and they'll and, have some grass there and they'll have Arizona some grass too. there and you know not part of ours Arizona and stuff. So, hello, Sheena. Sheena's there visiting mom and dad. Hi, Sheena. 
Sheena? Oh, Sheena. Yeah. I thought you meant uh, Sheena, the Julie no, Steve's, lady. Steve's oh, Steve. daughter. Hi. Hi, Sheena. How are you? <laughs> Sheena met the puppies and... No, that her daughter did. Oh, she... Oh, okay. okay. Not the granddaughter. Oh, the granddaughter. Yeah. 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 Sorry. I get confused. And he's making fun of me and pointing, huh? Huh? Yeah, we... Yes, Rick, we have two dogs. We have Gracie over there with Sue and Spike. Spike. spike -a we like to call him. spike -a they call him. That's my, my nickname anyway. Spike's a big, romping, mellow, fun, loving guy. And Gracie's a Tasmania. Gracie. Gracie's a, like a Tasmanian devil lately. I mean, she's just straight out, full bore. No thought of injury at all. She'll jump. She'll leap. She'll slide. She'll roll. She'll fall. I swear the dog's gonna hurt us one one of these days. Yes, they're brother and sister. We so we, we were we went and we were visiting Gracie and one day they let all five puppies out at once and they were romping around the ground. And he picked up Spikey and Spikey just mesmerized him to take him home and here he is. And we're very glad we took home the bird. So Steve, while you're here, I we I was talking to Earl from um Traveling On Adventures. And he said, unfortunately, he lost all the footage that he took I know. Huh? when you took him on your, on their voyage. He's very, very upset at himself. They don't know how they did it, but they de deleted it somehow, and they can't find it. So I've done that. I've had footage before that's gone. It's just gone, and the nothing is gone. It's, it's You'll never get it back either. You know, that's the thing. I mean, yeah, they can go back to Steve, I suppose, and take another tour, but it'll never be the first time they took the tour, you know? The problem is with trying to re-film something that I found, I've I've done it, but you can't quite do it with the same feeling that you had the first time because it's the second time you've seen it, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. But that is unfortunate because Steve gives the best uh, tours for sure. Steve. And it gives him, Steve you know, should be a yeah. professional tour guide. The yeah. guy's, he's good at it. He, he likes people too, and he likes to talk, and um, he's very smart, like – about desert plant life and the ways of the desert and the weather in the desert. You know, he's, uh, I, I just put up a desert tour that I went with Steve, um, my last video here and, you know, check it out. I mean, that's, that's the devil dog said he just saw that. That's where he lives. That's where Steve and Oki live. It's a beautiful yeah. place. It really is. And the cactus with the mouth, he says, uh -huh. right. And, uh, Rick said he just got back. Rick Mutt just, just had dinner and he said the, uh, the puppies are too cute and they look like twins. Um, they're not twins in personality, though, I have to tell you. But how was dinner, Rick? Was it good? I forget what Dick, see, I can't remember what he, what did he say he made? I know glaze, glaze some, oh, so, glazed chicken and, and pan seared potatoes, I believe. Uh, so right? I have no idea. So, Rick, a quick question. When you, when you do all these recipes, right, do you feed your family the recipes every, when when you make the recipe, do you like is, of he does. is that like supper time for your family? Just curious. Just of it is. Just wondering. How do you know? Of course it is. Why would he make food and not feed the Because he's got a YouTube channel. He wants to make because he's making enough to make the, to feed the family. Okay. I, I shouldn't ask that question, right? No, I'm, just I'm just saying of course he is. Okay. Yeah. Wouldn't you? It would make sense. But I just yeah. I'm just curious. Because yeah. yeah. he, he makes a lot of recipes. Well, I think he feeds the family that one, and then you know, the next one. He well, makes... yes, he does seven recipes a week. He could do seven different recipes a week. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. I, I, I never yeah. really thought about that. Gee. Oh. And it was, <laughs> and it was delicious. Uh, Rick said, "Good." I Rick. bet it was. Well, I'll check that one out. He has a good channel for uh, recipes. If you guys want to find a recipe, a quick, easy, always quick, easy recipes, but always delicious. We've tried several of his recipes, and every one is not disappointed as ever. Phew, these dogs need a bath. So we have to, to give these dogs a bath before Tom and Laurie Steve come wants to know if um if his ugly face broke the camera. No, 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 no. He means on uh on Terry and Earl's. Oh uh, yeah. And that's no. why they lost the footage. Yeah, no, no, no. That's not true. <laughs> that's not true. You just woke Gracie was sleeping, but you said bath and she doesn't know if she likes that. <laughs> look at that look at that little foe. You can't see it because she's down. Oh yeah, you can look at oh you can't see Spike. Look. Look at that little face. Look, tell, tell me that's not the cutest thing. I, I got to hold Spike up. So Spike is so tired. Yeah, they can't. can't yeah, they're like can't. falling asleep because they've been romping the whole they have been the whole, uh, the sun. whole morning. So anyways, guys, we want to thank all of you for stopping by today. We hope to see you next week. We will be. 
Oh, geez. Still Rick here said, next week? Wait a minute. Rick says, no, they eat ramen noodles. I eat good LOL. No, the whole family eats the whole video. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole family eats the video food. Okay. Right. That that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. See? I, I was just I was just curious. So any anyways, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate you guys. We love all of you. And we'll see you next week. We'll still be at Quartzite until next Tuesday, right? Yes, yep. we'll so we'll be, be right here at Quartzite yeah. next week. Finicky Fanny's going to get worked on. We're going to have a new toilet put in and a new oven put in. So pray for her. A new oven got to put in. So pray for us. It all goes well there, guys. Okay? I would appreciate it. We thank you all for being here. We thank really appreciate you. It. Spike and Gracie say bye. They say, they say bye. Say bye, Spike. And we love you all. We'll see you next week, guys. God bless. Thank you. Take good care. Bye. Can't stop it. I can't stop it. Oh, no, guys. We're still here. No, we're stuck. You're stuck Bye. with us. Bye, guys. <laughs>